Is you live? Hard. Hard is you live? What's up, King Kaya? Kaya Mafia, real niggas, real bitches. Hater walkers, K wingers, pussy poppers, ass twerkers. Whatever bitches like me. Get my name on your watch from the night, baby. Come on, we live. Is you live? Let's call her. Call her. Nobody call her with no hate ass bitch tonight. Let's call the bitch. Stop calling her the bitch. Cause she ain't talking about nothing, bitch. A bad nigga, he ain't talking about nothing, bitch. A bad nigga, let's call her the bitch. Stop calling her the bitch. Cause she ain't talking about nothing, bitch. A bad nigga, he ain't talking about nothing, bitch. A bad nigga, let's call her. There's a hate on my line. Let me fuck this bitch one more time. You made another page, bitch. That's fine. Freak elite like Pablo Pete. 980 to Neo Fold is where the Charlotte leads. 252 for the Greenville. Hat on blue for the Tar Heels. I can edge a on this paradox. Like crack foes, like the locks. Be not both. Send a notch. Now I know when he talks. How I can't even announce my parents script the race to doc. Cause when this ball point to close, my mental travel hell is spots. Like astro projection. Cannot conjoint the two of us if there is no connection. But you can close section. The NCB, the NCB. The NCB, the NCB, whoa, whoa. Okay, Mr. Jackson, I love you, Mr. Jackson, for real, I do. <laughs> I almost got away if it wasn't for that goddamn Joe Jackson and the NCB mob. I almost got away. Got to be more careful. Gots to be more careful when you come around here to the NCB streets. Thank everybody for tuning in tonight. Make sure you see your dollar because it is a dollar to get in on tonight. Okay, it is a dollar to get in tonight on the NCB. So make sure you see your dollar to the cash app. If you ain't got no motherfucking dollar, there's something wrong with you. Okay, because I'm letting you know tonight you come up in here and you take anything from here, ho. We got magnets that sit on top of the roof. And they're going to take your everything you got, your wig, that glue that's on there, that goddamn cap that you got covering your motherfucking head, that, 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 all them Kooji outfits that you got on, yes, and them dirty ass Nikes that you wear, all that shit coming off tonight. If you come up in this motherfucker, think you're going to take something. So I advise you to get you a bracelet, okay? Get you a bracelet. Going to see your dollar tonight. Get you a bracelet so you ain't got to worry about security scooting your ass up out of here. Okay? Because they going to scoot your ass up out of here like Sarita Jakes was scooting her ass across that goddamn pool pit knowing well, good Lord, and well that she didn't have the Holy Ghost. All this stuff has been about a show, and it seems like the Lord is coming back for his church, and he's starting in the pulpit. Oh, you know what God said? I'm going to show them something else. I'm going to show, instead of me striking them down, I'm going to send them to jail. You know what? I just, 
you know, what is going on in the church? More allegations stuff is coming out. Larry Reed done went over there and I had the, they said that he was over there on his show. They said that uh, he confirmed that the video that I played to y'all of Manessa Jordan talking about people will be exposed in 2024. My thing is, if you was going to have Larry. OK, if you was going to have that and let me remind you, we're not going to forget that Larry Reed was accused of messing with a boy named Levantre Andrews, okay? Tosh K did a series, you know, with him um, about, you know, uh, Larry Reed. And for somebody to sit around and talk about cease and desist letters are for punks, he was sure sending a lot of people some cease and desist letters after them allegations had come out. And I just can't get with somebody who been accused of the same thing that Bishop T.D. Jakes is being accused of and you out here in these streets trying to go in and talk about you going to produce a documentary. Why you ain't produced no documentary about yourself? Why you ain't produced no documentary firing back at Tasha K when she got Levantre Andrews up there on her show? See, don't nobody want to talk about that on the night, huh? Don't nobody want to get no amens and no hallelujahs, hallelujah, hallelujah. Y'all don't want to get at tonight, huh? So we're going to talk about uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes and this Manessa Jordan thing. Y'all already know I found the clip where William McCray was talking about um, uh, Manessa, what have you. I'm going to go back and we're going to play that little clip. Then we're going to go to George Bloomer. Y'all know Pastor Bishop George Bloomer out of Durham, North Carolina. Now, he is being said to be, you know, the person, uh, you know, like William said, Olivia Pope. So he's the one that is being said that called the bloggers or anyone that reaching out that got some tea. Allegedly, they got to show the tea and then he going to hit up Jake's and Jake's going to pay uh, a hunk and a chunk in the words of William G. McCray III. Okay. Now, one thing that I'm concerned about with Bishop Jakes is, is that the bishop, you know, got online and, and I didn't get a chance to see the whole sermon. But a lot of people, you know, that did get to see it was like, you know, he was worried, you know, he's going through. He couldn't even preach the word of God because he was so worried. And then they was talking about how Sarah Jakes had held her, ha her head down. I saw that, too. And I was like, that was a long ass pause because. If you going to uh, be embarrassed or have self embarrassment about what your father just said about freeze, you would have held your head down as soon as that S came out. That stop that freaks right there when you would have had your head down. But it seemed like you paused for a minute because you can believe what he had just said. And you just lifted your head. You, you just held your head down. Like, I cannot believe you just got up here and lied. And, 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 and you put this man off this damn plane. And he sent threatening text messages to your phone. But they went to your iPad and Sarita read them. Sometimes you can talk too much. And you can, because the Bible says that uh, life and death is the power of your tongue. You're either going to preach your future or you're going to preach your funeral. Okay. But at the end of the day, I don't think Bishop T.D. Jakes should have got up there and told them damn people <laughs> that if he did do it, that all he got to do is repent. You just killed your whole innocence right there when you said that it, it a, a person that's innocent is not about to be talking about if i did it and i ain't in trouble yet so we're gonna talk about you tonight bishop td jays george bloomer manasa jordan we're gonna talk about them hoes on tonight we also gonna talk about Woody Woodpecker. Y'all already know Woody Woodpecker Woody 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 Woodpecker y'all already know who she is Tasha Trans Rena Kibi, professionally known as lying ass Tasha K. Seems like she done been trapped again. It says she tried to shake down uh Kevin Hart for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Girl, is that I mean, god damn, what you really trying to hurry up and pay Cardi B back? And then the fool, she's so slow and retarded. She talked just slow, like William. And I can joke with him because. That's my brother. But at the end of the day, 
she's so slow that she gonna make a teaser video talking about you know when you people don't want to pay we got to get money by all means necessary now the court is about to get you by that little bit of hair that you got on your goddamn head okay because i'm gonna be honest with you all that hair on your head ain't nothing but ingrown <laughs> Tasha K, you done came back. So we talking about you tonight. And then we going to Greenville, North Carolina, where Reverend uh, uh, William Barber II, who in 2017 propped some whore up to make false sexual, you know, harassment workplace allegations against the man that was trying to run against him and to, uh, you know, run against him for the NAACP for the chapter of North Carolina. And William Barber and his co-conspirator um, were stealing money from the North Carolina NAACP. And they had used the funds, allegedly, that was stolen to fund their campaign against uh, Dr. Uh, Reverend Curtis Gatewood. But... Uh, Reverend William Barber was kicked out of the AMC movie theater in Greenville, North Carolina, because he brought his kitchen chair to the movies and they weren't about to let him sit there as big as he is and block the view from everybody else. Because you already know them kitchen chairs be about seven feet tall and then you got to climb your ass up in the chair and block everybody else. No, 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 no. Somebody pressed the SOS button and the staff came in and as soon as they walked in there they saw him bigger than the goddamn movie screen and everybody was looking at him because they trying to figure out why is his shoulder blocking the whole motherfucking screen so he don't went out there he's trying to call for national fake outrage and you know damn well you should damn well you shouldn't have brought that goddamn kitchen chair to no motherfucking movie theaters okay and then talking about that uh Oh, they wanted. I, I try. I wanted to put it in the handicap spot, but uh, the chair is taller than the motherfucking wheelchairs. You bigger than the chair in the motherfucking wheelchairs. So why is we about to let you, us who in wheelchairs, let you sit your kitchen chair, okay? With all the problems, got them goddamn roaches in it. Y'all know some of y'all grandmas and uh, mamas never got roaches in them goddamn chairs. As soon as you pick that chair up and you hit that bitch on the floor, all them roaches just get to running out air well. Air where you get to run it too. You thought you was a damn roach when you took off. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about him because he out here trying to call for national outrage. He always wanna walk his ass because he can't never run. You ain't gonna never see him run. He can't run. We out here trying to watch the color purple and you out here acting like you in motherfucking D.C. for a million man march. I want the people to see this. I'm Reverend William Ball. I did a lot for this thing and you lied. You lied on some good people too, you crooked ass mother. You know you crooked. Color purple didn't want to see you. Why Oprah Winfrey and uh, Fantasia Barino didn't call you when she was up there in Charlotte to come to the viewing? You could have brought your whole bed and laid right in it and watched the damn movie. Yeah, I'm starting on you first tonight. We're going on to you tonight, Reverend William Barber. You, we, I, I didn't pay my goddamn twenty five, thirty dollars to see your ass, to see you sending my way. I bet you everybody that left that movie theater had a roach in their goddamn bag, and it's bad when you get roaches in your car. <laughs> it's bad when you got a roach in your car. I ain't never heard nobody break. You know damn well that is not normal. You know how many people got hip pain. He up here talking about he can't sit in no regular chair because he got hip pain. You know how many motherfuckers that was in the movie that's sitting in that chair that got hip pain? No, you got big pain. That's what that is. You ain't got no motherfucking hip pain, sir. You got big. You got B-I-G, big pain. You know damn well you can't go to the goddamn. 
You know damn well you can't go to the fairground and think they're going to let you get on the motherfucking goddamn Ferris wheel. And then when they don't let you get on the Ferris wheel, you want to say, I stood up for this state. They won't let me get on a Ferris wheel. They need to build big Ferris wheels. Hell no. Uh-uh. Do you take that chair and sit it on the plane? How do you get on the plane? How do you fly? Do anybody ask them questions? How do Reverend William Barber fly? Y'all see him right here. Here you go. Here you go. This him right here. Reverend, you see them shoulders that I was telling you about? So y'all be thinking I'm lying. You got a man right here named Reverend William Barber II who looked like he work out every day but can't sit in no regular ass chair. Y'all should have brought that nigga a mattress from the back and sat that bitch right there on the floor. Sitting up here trying to call for a national outrage and you done went to a press conference in 2017, violated all the, the bylaws of the uh, national NAACP just because you didn't want Curtis Gatewood to blow you out because he was about to blow you hoes out. He was about to blow you out. Oh, yeah, he was about to blow you out. You knew he was about to blow you out. That's why you lied. You had to come up with a scheme and you used the whore to do it. And then just last month, she dismissed the lawsuit against him. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now you want people, you want people to, to start a riot over a motherfucking kitchen chair. You should have waited to the guy. If you knew you couldn't fit up in the movie theater, you should have waited until the movie came out on DVD or something. You should have walked your ass right in Blockbuster. Or right to the goddamn uh, red box and bought you a motherfucking DVD of the color purple. Shit. Glad you got kicked out. Get out. But look, I wanted to get his ass out. Shit. Bringing all them goddamn roaches. Now, let me tell you about him. Also, William, let me tell you, William Barber. Big William Barber, and let me pull up his friend right here, because Dr. Anthony T. Spearman killed himself in his home, in the basement of his home, shot himself in the head, okay? Well, when we first found out that uh, Dr. Anthony T. Spearman shot himself in the head, okay, it was shortly after a young man came to me and told me that Dr. Uh, uh, that Dr. Anthony T. Spearman, who he looked up to as a grandfather, was trying to sexually assault him, was trying to pray over him. He told, I'm, I'm not lying to y'all. That's what he told me. It's on the North Carolina beat. He told me that Dr. Spearman said that he wanted to anoint his feet. And he said, uh, Dr. Spearman started praying over his feet. And he said, Dr. Spearman started coming up his legs and touched his penis. And Dr. Anthony Spearman knew it was about to come out. So he got a gun, went down to the basement of his house and shot himself dead. He couldn't control them demons. See, them demons, it gets to a point in your life where you lose all your mind. And them demons that you've been worshiping take over your body. Because a spirit can't operate without a body. All right. Okay, let me let me move on. Let me move on. Let me move. Y'all want to, if y'all want to know more about that story, just go to my website and type in uh Anthony T. Spearman or William D. Barber. You can read all about that T. I have no remorse for this man because of how he did Dr. Curtis Gatewood and the whore, Jasmine Childs, the whore. I'm talking about the, the, that, the whore was about to get fired already because she wasn't doing her job. And Reverend Curtis Gatewood wrote up a recommendation letter because he was the supervisor. And he recommended that he wanted to sit down and have a talk with Spearman and Barbara, whoever, before the decision was made to extend their contract. And they was mad because they was about to get fired. And Barbara had already knew, him and Spearman had already knew that they was about to be exposed for stealing all that money in the NAACP. The national NAACP sent numerous documents to Barber and Spearman for the checks and balances book, and they still ain't sent it. 
But the national NAACP violated Gatewood's Fourth Amendment, 14th Amendment to due process because they suspended him off of allegations that there was no proof of. Now, I know that every allegation is not going to have no physical proof, but this was a flat out lie. So when I saw this demon getting kicked out of Greenville, um, 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 movie theater, I started giving God praise because everybody that has done folk wrong, we are starting to see them crumble. Okay, now this happened at the AMC Fire Tower 12 movie theater on Tuesday. Now, Barbara said that he was with his mammy. I'm sorry, he was with his mama, and um, they kicked him out of the movie theater, and they was it was recorded. So this is we're gonna watch the video, okay? Uh, okay, I'm gonna, tell you, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. You are the property. And hold on, let me hold on. Give me one moment. I need to go. Hold on, let me do this one right here. Hold on. Where the motherfucking money at shit? Oh, we gonna get the Jace tonight, baby. Oh yeah, I know what y'all came for. Mm -hmm. I know what y'all came for. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, ha. Ooh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I know what y'all came for. Y'all came for the mess. Shout out to his members that's in here tonight still searching the internet trying to get enough evidence to send in your resignation letter. We gonna give it everything here at the NCB, baby. We, go, we gonna give you the tease, baby. Ah, uh, we gonna give you the tease. Hold on, I can't find this video. What happened? Let me see. Oh, baby, we gonna give you the tease, baby. We show sure Leah. Cause ain't no need to testify. Oh, ain't no need to testify. Ain't no need to testify. No need to tell no, no use need to tell no testimony. Nah, you should have been told that testimony. You should have told him how he brought you out of homosexuality a long time ago. Hold on, y'all. I don't know why this thing is not letting me pull up this video. Ain't no need to testify. Ooh. a picture oh that's why because it's a picture i'm trying to transfer hold on y'all let me get this video one two three ain't no need to testify hold on i gotta get this right one up here why is this not what is going on okay here go right here praise the lord saints i'm sorry give me one moment give me one moment i know y'all gotta go take the hat no y'all gotta go take the hat i know you hard working men you know, got to go wash your stinking ass. So give me one more. <laughs> All right, so this this right here is William Barber. Okay, Will Ed. Big Will Ed. Not go out. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. You are removed the property, and I'm going to take you out, and I'll if, charge if you, you at my car. That's fine. If you if you want to take me out and leave the property, then I'll do that. Yep, that's what I want to do. All right, well, I'm, you want to have to put the if you're looking forward to those movies, you should be on the AMC Stubbs A-List. Find a crew member after the show and ask how you can get credit for this movie. And to our millions of AMC Stubbs movies, a very special thanks to you. We hope you're enjoying your savings, rewards, and exclusive. You see what I'm saying? Let me just show you a prime example. Y'all remember how I talk about all the time that these crooked ass lawyers like Crump, uh, Jason Keith, who I got a story on because, you know, they say that, he, you know, he ain't no good lawyer. And after I did a little bit of research on him, it seems like he's been reprimanded by the bar numerous times. So I'm going to write a story on him. But lawyers like that and activists and so-called pastors like Reverend William Barber. These are the type of people that fuck up your fight. Now, they're asking you to leave because you brought your kitchen chair. Now, I'm not saying if it's really a kitchen chair. I'm just 
you know, y'all know I'm just gagging, right? I'm just, but they telling you to leave because you can't bring your chair in here. What's up with all the, I'm nonviolent, I'm not resistant, I'm a nonviolent pastor. What are you talking about? See, he's an example of people we don't need in the forefront because they want to tell you what the police do and they do wrong. But as black folk in America, we got to understand that they killing us. And when they pull us over or we have an interaction with them, we got to do what they say just so we can make it home alive. Because if we fight, I ain't never seen nobody win a court case on the side of the highway. This right here is not good trouble. This right here is a bad example of a leader who's in the forefront of black social justice saying, I, I, I ain't resisting arrest. I'm a nonviolent pastor. That man didn't say nothing. Like, all that man said was, sir, we got a call. You need to leave. You can't bring your chair. You escalating. That's why when they ask you for your driving license after they said you speeding, man, I want speeding. What you talking about, man? I want speed. Man, I ain't no, I ain't giving you my license, bro. I want speed, man. Call you. Bro, just give him your license and fight it in court. Hire you a lawyer. Tell your lawyer what happened. Get to court and tell the judge what happened. Because everybody ain't corrupt. Now, if that police officer was having a bad day and William Barber refused to get up out that chair. And he grabbed him and punched him. Everybody would have been like, oh, you shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have did that. Man, that man wasn't doing that, man. That man was about to leave. You ain't about to leave when you lean the fuck back after he done told you to get your big ass up. Instead of just getting up, if he would have knocked five from you, you would have been talking about, oh, I got assaulted at the AMC movie theater by the Greenville Police Department. When you should have just got your ass up. We know you tired. We know you ate a good meal after you left, you know, before you got to the movie theater, sir. But it's time to go. You got to go. You got to catch this on DVD, bitch. Get your chair, you and your kitchen chair and all your staff to let's go. Because, see, had it been me as the police officer, I don't care who you are. My job as a police officer would be to protect, protect and serve. We got a call that you are not allowed to have a chair. They ask you to leave and you're refusing to leave. That's when law enforcement, I would have snatched your ass up off that chair and I would have got you out that damn door. I don't care if you call Crump. I don't give a goddamn if you call Obama. I don't care if you call Kamala, want to lock a black man up again ass. I don't care who you call. But I got a call. And they told me to get your ass up out this chair. Ain't nobody got time to be paying no thousand dollars for no goddamn pest control, getting all these mosquitoes, you know, all these gnats that don't fall at your. If you're not an ABC Subs member, join today. <laughs> You guys want to assist them? Okay, well, I'm just going to tell them to stop the program for everybody and be sitting here by himself. He can, he can take me out. They do the people, y'all know this bitch is Bob. They say that my chair is not allowed to come back. I want the children to see this when I deal with it. Now, we hear the movie in the background playing, and you tell me, I want the children to hear this. I want the children to hear this. I've been in the White House with this chair. They've called an officer of the law, the AME Theater in Greenville, North Carolina. They would not make amends to simply do the right thing. But we'll deal with it. They brought this officer. What's your name, Mr. Officer? Can I shake your hand? I ain't trying to. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, this is Officer Lemon. I want to know your name. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. Yeah. I'm taking up no space. Oh, no space. I was in the I was in the private shop today. Which I said all the time. 
Oh, Cassandra. Cassandra. Token Nose Face. Hold up, let me. Hold up. I don't ever want my goddamn laundry basket to be that heavy. Um, but at the end of the day, you can't sit up here and try to tell you how you going to sit up here and try to bash these people business and these people name because you didn't get no hall pass to sit in the goddamn walkway. I don't understand because how do he fly? How do you, but listen, they do have wheelchairs. That, let me show you them big wheelchairs they got, the size of, uh, of 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 the bishop right here. They got wheelchairs his size. They got them big wheelchairs. Let me see. Wheelchairs. For. I just want y'all to believe that this that y'all need to stop this shit. Y'all trying to tear somebody's business down. <laughs> y'all trying to tear somebody's business down because you mad. Those people won't let you bring that damn chair. <laughs> and they got them. They got, he could have rolled a wheelchair up in there. I'm going to show y'all. Look at that wheelchair right there. Reverend Barber can fit in that wheelchair right there. Why his people ain't got him no wheelchair like that? And I think that chair he got, it keeps his legs straight. So I guess he do need it for his hip, but you can stretch your legs out in this chair. So we're not finna start bashing people business because you couldn't get your kitchen chair. <laughs> you couldn't even get through the first preview of the commercial before the movie came over before they told you, you need to leave. Because you cannot, you see this chair right here, sir? Stop playing with us. Stop fabricating these stories. Stop making up these lies and stop trying to get people to have sympathy for you. Y'all always want to act like y'all handicapped when y'all go somewhere. Stealing your cousin them handicapped stickers so you can put it in your car and park to the front with somebody that's really handicapped need it. The only reason I parked in the Walmart Wounded Warrior parking spot is because I am a wounded warrior. I'm a wounded warrior in the army of the law. But at the end of the day, it ain't no fine or no law for that. That's just some Walmart do to a compi, you know, uh, uh, they people. A compi, bitch. <laughs> so at the end of the day, go get you this wheelchair. I know you done stole enough money. From the NAACP. So it's $2,999. Okay. $2,999. And zero cents. $2,999. And you know. Zero cents. They got a discount. It was $4,314. But they dropped that down. And now it's $2,999. You know, so go get you one of them chairs. And next time you will be able to sit. In the wheelchair area, how you gonna sit your chair in the in the movie theater? Block it. Did y'all see how he was sitting up in that chair? Hold on, I'm gonna roll it back one more time. How you just gonna sit your chair in the middle of the movie theater, blocking all them people that sit low? They sit wheelchair side, you know, wheelchair height. They low, okay. And then you get mad because you want to put your chair in the wheelchair section. The wheelchair section is for chairs that got wheels. Your chair ain't got no wheels. Your chair got tennis balls on. <laughs> I don't know what the man chair got. Let me go roll it. Let me see if I can find this. Let me see if I can find this car. I'll charge you on my car. That's he was sent up. Well, let me see where he was sent back up in that damn chair. When people are told him to get his ass up and he's still sitting there. Look at him, he's standing up resisting, resisting arrest. Look, you see what I'm saying? They told to get his ass, get your ass up out of here. Look at it. I'm not resisting and set his ass back. Right for this I'm not movie. Look, and you are look how tall he's sitting though. Just look. Do y'all can y'all see that? Look how look how look how tall. Look, he, the church don't like this kind of preaching. Look, I want you to look. Look at your neighbor and say, look. 
her. I need you to look her. Y'all see how little people sitting, and y'all see how tall, how tall. <laughs> No, look at look! Oh, there it is. That's a better light right there. Come on, Mr. Jackson. Come on, come on. Look, 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 look. You see, he is sitting up on the cut though. <laughs> but look at him. <laughs> William Barber thought he was gonna walk his ass up in there carrying all them gnats behind him, and thought he was just gonna be able to. Oh, I'm William Barber. You found you ain't had no pool. So now AMC Theater is coming back to apologize and saying. That they are sorry, that they apologize, that he experienced that. And it's only because, you know, the black media don't know who this crook really is. That's all that is. They don't they don't do no research. You know, they repost just anything and they don't know who these crooks and these criminals are. You know what I'm saying? And so I just refuse to post someone in a sympathetic way when I know what you have done to an innocent man. An innocent black man. How you gonna fight for innocent black people? And talking about the poor's, the poor people campaign. All the poor people that was in that movie theater that was fine with their hips being out of place, with their hips hurting. We all got some pain in some type of way. You just got that big pain. That's all. You big. You can't sit in the chair, and you bring your chair everywhere you go. Because when you sit down, all that pain still from everything else, all that shit still shifting down. I don't understand. I mean, I don't know. We just want to know, Bishop. No pain, no pain, no gain. Did you ask Shell if she got some wheelchairs for you? One of them chairs that I showed. Did you try to check in with Shell and ask Shell, Shell, do you got a wheelchair for Bishop uh, Reverend William Barber the second? Because I refuse to go with this lie when I know it's some wheelchairs out there that you can fit in. You think the you think the Lord only made people that would that 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 would invent small wheelchairs? No, 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 no. He gave them the idea to think about big people. When he gave them that idea, Barber, they had you in mind. But you just refuse. To buy one we won't be donating you know donating one to you we don't feel i don't feel that bad for you but uh, god bless you because you wrong for what you did i tell y'all all the time everybody that's up here that i roast deserves to be roasted because they got some shit with them hmm. all right i'm gonna leave you alone sir have a good day ma'am Wake up, wake up, wake Jakes, wake up. They that Jakes, they don't ran another story on you again. Word on the curb, Bishop Thomas Dexter Jakes. I'm excuse me, I'm sorry. Thomas Dexter fakes professionally known as uh Bishop uh T D Jakes, but we changed your name, Jakes. Jakes, Jakes, Jakes. Have you ever been swallowed? Have you ever been swallowed? Bishop T.D. Jakes. Scandal continues. The black bishop never thought his day would come, but it has. And, 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 and it's here. 
because I want y'all fake ass church people to understand that some of these pastors ain't who they really say they is. And I understand that y'all are so blind and you so lost. You don't even know, you know, how to make a proper bologna sandwich. You don't know how to put the bologna. You don't know how to pull out the mayonnaise and spread the mayonnaise over the bread and put the bologna on the bread. You don't even know how to put it in a frying pan and fry. Y'all just so slow. Have you ever been swallowed? I would. Oh, we gonna roast your ass, Jakes. We gonna roast your motherfucking ass on tonight. Word on the curb, Bishop T.D. Jakes. Scandal still continues. The bishop is, uh, you know, has been accused of a lot of scandals. And it seems like Manessa Jordan decided that he wanted to toot his ass down, no longer wanted to be face down, ass up. Seems like he ready to tell it all. But, you know, he had to call uh, Larry, Miss Larry Reed, baby. He had to call Miss Larry Risha and she had to get online and do her big one. You know, she ain't none of but, you know, about clout and everything. Child, she always got to tell us everything that she do, girl. We already know you on that struggling ass BT show. We already know that they say you in conscious TV. Fuck, 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 fuck. We already know they said allegedly that you was fucking with Levantre Andrews and we ain't forgot about that and we don't know why you up here trying to defend Manessa Jordan who decided to stay with the bishop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you knew to stand up there with Benny Hinn and make all that goddamn money, you knew not to stand with uh, Bishop Jakes when he was trying to groom you. Now you, oh, oh, oh. see these motherfuckers like him, you you just, you confirming what we already knew about the bishop, but we ain't gonna sit here and act like that you ain't play no role. We ain't going to sit here and act like you ain't playing no role. And I just don't understand, like I said, how Larry Risha can get her ugly ass up here with all them holes in her motherfucking face, keep getting them shots in her motherfucking face, looking like an ashtray full of motherfucking cigarette butts and want to sit up here and talk about somebody. Then they said today he done came back and want to change his story, say he looked like he sounds scared. Mm -mm, you can't be in this business scared bitch you got to put your money where your mouth is you got to get you some security you can't be calling tasha k and calling conscious tv to stand outside your motherfucking house all day because when them niggas pull up in that goddamn truck he can't be out there shaking that ass and shitting all over your concrete I ain't never in my life wanted to put a wig on my goddamn head. I'm going to roast all you hoes tonight. Thais, I'm going to get your big stinking ass too. I'm going to get you tonight too. I'm going to get all you goddamn, you, you cement truck built body ass bitches. Uh, that's why we can't motherfucking get no cement laid down because you bitches in cement. That's why your stomach stuck. And when somebody touch it, it look like a whole motherfucking brick wall you don't swallow. All that nut. That you done swallowed in your mouth from letting all them niggas run up in your goddamn Martin apartment and fuck you all through the walls. Now you done bought all them. I ain't never seen nobody house with a hundred motherfucking pictures in one room. Yeah. So Bishop Jakes got the answer. To these allegations. I don't give a damn. How. Long it take you to respond. You gonna answer to these. Alleg you gonna address. These allegations. Everybody know Manessa Jordan. Left Benny Hinn. And ran to you. Everybody know that you wanted him. To call you daddy. Dad. Daddy, daddy. Like I said, I hope you ain't on that Epstein list. So this boy, Bernard, and you know what? I'm trying to under, Bernard Jordan did a bad job as a father too. He really did. 
He did a bad job as a father. He ain't had no control over his son. He was supposed to protect Manasseh Jordan. Now, I don't care how commercial or how much money Manasseh Jordan want to raise for his own good and to line his own pockets. He got a, he got a gift. Now, I'm not saying his gift is called by God or God is using his gift. I'm not saying that. Because witches got gifts too. And I could never just get with someone who says they are a man of God or a prophet and they got a phone line that you can call into and get a word if you pay some money. So a lot of times what happens is that's why you got to know the difference between when God's hand is on somebody's life and when his hand is not on their life. Because the Bible says that the gift come without repentance. God is not going to repent for what he gave you. But you got to know the difference. And when somebody is operating out of the, out of the anointing with their gift versus somebody that's uh, being lucrative, that want money. All the time. I really, really, really. How you want me to believe you really, 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 really got to release a word to the Lord? I mean, from the Lord to me. Only if I release that $25. What if I ain't got the $25 to give? I got it. But what if I ain't got it to give? Are you still going to release that word to me? Or is you going to make me pay? You're going to make me get off this phone line knowing that God got a word for me and you won't even give it to me because you want $25. I just can't get with them kind of ministries. Because the word of God has always been free. So what happens is they use sow and seed as a manipulative tactic. God want to test your faith. But God know I ain't got it. I just can't get with people because I know some prophets that know God know they ain't got it. But you want somebody to rob their neighbor right beside them just to get the money to give to you because you want to go take your hoes and these young boys. You need more money to go to your hush fund. You need more money to go to your hush fund. You need more money so you can keep paying these hoes that you done flipped over from the pulpit to the door. You trying to keep up. Now, William McCray said that Bishop T.D. Jakes liked to pay. And George Bloomer is who made the call. Now, I would be, I would, I would, y'all know I'm, I'm quick about calling somebody. And I really want to call the bishop and see what his statement is. Oh, no. Let me see if I can call Bishop George Bloomer to see if I can get his statement. Let me see if I still got his number. It might be in my other book. I might got to pull it up in a little bit. Call Bishop George Bloomer and give him a get him a get a statement. Y'all know I call somebody in a minute. If you've been following me, you know I call them on the line. You done flipped. You done flipped. You done flipped. Okay, so let me go back to this video. So we about to go to YouTube. I'm about to go back to this video where Manasseh Jordan was talking about the people being exposed in the church. Now, we already know the prophetess. She already done spoke. She already done spoke God's word because there's no way that you can sit online and, 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 and preach the word of God and God give you a word a year early and it come to, and it, it, it come to pass. I mean, that got to be God. That, uh, whoo, I know, I know his voice. I know his voice. I know his voice. I know his voice. But Manessa Jordan, you know, got online and he made a video about his daddy. Not Bernard. Oh, first of all, let me go to this other video. Hold on. 
Y'all know we working tonight, babe. We live tonight, 7 o'clock. So I'm in 745. Hold on. Let me go to this other video with me and William. Let me put this video up here because I want y'all to, to go back to this video. We finna go to this video with William McCray real quick. Um, Let me see here. Wake up, wake up, wake up. They still tearing Jake's ass up. Make sure you share the live tonight, y'all. Thank everybody for tuning in. I really appreciate y'all for tuning in and coming and chop it up with me. I know this is not your normal kind of blog or whatever, but this is how we do it on the North Carolina beat. We raw, uncut, unfiltered. You know, it was given to me to do it like this. This is how I'm going to do it. You know, you just got to be put on blast when you just got to be put on blast, baby. This is, it. listen, it's not personal. It's all business, okay? All right, so let me go to this video right here. What a time stamp at. Okay, first of all, I'm going to go to, okay, we're going to go to Bloomer part because I want y'all to hear what William say about Bloomer. Okay, hold on, let me see. Let me start it right here. Because uh their 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 one of their parents is either incarcerated <coughs> or strung out on drugs or yeah. whatever the situation is that you know derails them from being able to you know now let me just tell y'all what we playing okay so this part of the video that i'm playing is two parts this part right here i'm playing is about uh william mccray talking about how when um allegations come out against jakes how bishop bloomer was like the olivia pope he was the person who would go and figure out what they wanted if he had proof you know allegedly okay what they wanted you know or whatever to not put it out on jakes and he would go to jakes and he would go allegedly allegedly he would allegedly go to jakes and Jake's, he would tell Jake's, you know, they want 500,000, they want 200,000, they want 100,000. And, you know, according to William, Jake's would, you know, pay it. And that's how stuff will go away. And to, to not believe it is really dumb of you. Because anybody with money, you don't think that if you pay somebody something, we all wake up every day and go to work for what? Money. We don't go to work just to go to work. We go to work to make money. So I just want to let y'all know what you watch. Yeah, you know, be a solid parent. Right, right. So, Absolutely. but I have never heard. I have never heard pedophilia. Um, I think that we forget things quickly. Right. When the girl, when they locked the girl in that room at the Fort Worth church, mm -hmm. and they beat her up. What? You don't remember that? Uh-uh. What, 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 and she what, what, recorded it. And she was coming public. And then all of a sudden she got a nice uh hunk and a chunk of money. And then right. she went quiet. Right. Um, so there's always been uh now the one thing about Jake. I said so they remember that. Yeah, oh yeah, it 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 happened. It certainly happened. Um uh the one thing about Jake's is Jake's is a great paymaster here you go he does not mind uh coming off of a hunk and a chunk of money right. and do, do it rather quickly he nips right. it he nips it in the bud before it gets off the ground good and that's why he ain't never had no like allegation like this because he's always you know tried to but get he's ahead always he with the help of george bloomer has always mm. been able to resolve now that's george bloomer oh so bloomer is bloomer is the cleanup man ah uh, so he's uh-huh so you'll never see bloomer and jakes together sure. you'll never see bloomer preach for jakes J bloomer is the call okay Okay. So he's the hit man. He's the, he's the call. He's the he is the uh, Olivia Pope ah uh, of the church. Okay, uh, okay, I see. Okay, I see. So he's going to hit you up and you know proposition you as to what we need to do for this to be resolved, for this to go, go away. away. Right, right. 
Ooh. Wow. So let me ask you this. So we know, and I trust your reporting. Of course I do. Okay. So, um, uh, okay. So that's the part about George Bloomer that we talked about how, uh, allegedly Bloomer would, you know, pay, like he would go to Jake's with all the stuff. Like, listen, this blogger, William McCray, he got a store. He don't show some receipts. This is what you need to do. This is what he want. And this is what you need to do. And he's saying that if it don't get done, that's a difference. Now, it's tricky with that. And I just feel like that if you reach out to someone and you have a story on them and they want to get it paid to, have be, to not be put up, you need to let your lawyer handle that with their attorneys. You don't need to be saying nothing else. As soon as they say that, you say, I'm going to send you to my lawyer, give you my lawyer contact information. They'll reach out to you. Because then it's it's handled legally. They won't be trying to say, "Oh, you you did this." But see, what Tasha K retarded, crazy ass, uh, 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 you know, fucked up at was is that, you know, she tried to shake Kevin Hart down. She tried to take food out his kid's mouth, despite of what problems he have with his wife or what have you, so that she can put it in her child's mouth off of a story. But that's what Bloomer is alleged to have done or, you know, still do for uh, Jake's allegedly. OK, so the next part I'm going to get to was Manessa Jordan. OK, I think he did not say that Manessa did. And y'all know the part that I was skipping through. That was the part where it was at. <laughs> he didn't. I don't think he said that they had sets, but we're going to listen to what he said about it. Let me see. Question. Uh, they said, why okay. do you think Larry was defending Jace when all of the evidence has been laid out? I don't think we want to discuss her. <laughs> I don't uh <laughs> I don't know of I don't now that he was saying Larry defended Jace. He said, Why do you think Larry was defending Jace when all of the evidence has been laid out? Well, because they but, wanted the same. I mean, well, you allegedly. have to look at the relationship. <laughs> you have to look at the relationship. So Larry pretty much or or when I wasn't moving fast enough right. for for um Bernard, mm. um he went to Larry. And you have to remember, Jake and Manasseh have a very close relationship. Right. Uh now, let me stop this. Now, me and William did this. We did this live on the 24th. And I believe a day afterwards, let me see, Manasseh Jordan. Oh, that's on his page. Oh, definitely don't want to be over there. Get that bitch no motherfucking credit. Oh, hell no. Uh, I got to find that bitch somewhere else. Uh, ha, 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 hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no, no, no. Okay, Manessa did his video a day ago on the 26th. Okay, so William and William was already talking about, um, you know, all this stuff. Okay, so me and William, we was already talking about all this stuff. And I need to start putting y'all comments on the screen because y'all be saying some interesting stuff when I look down. Somebody say you about to block me. Wait, somebody say you about to block me too because you got some shit with you. You didn't play all the comments. What's wrong with you, Gilda? Who is you, Gilda? What's your name, Gilda? Gilda Chicken and Fries. What's going on, Gilda Chicken and Fries? What y'all don't do? You don't play it all. Dude, you didn't play my comment. What is you talking about? Who is this? Who is Gilda? Somebody get Gilda off the line. Thank you so much. Who the hell is Gilda Fries and Chicken? <laughs> what Gilda time out? Gilda got them chicken and them fries. And she loved to tell lies. Jilda got that chicken and them fries. And she loved to tell lies. 
Jitter got them chicken and them fries. And she loved to tell a lie. Shoot her up out of here. Get her up out of here. Who is you, girl? Where you, where you from? Who your people now? Where y'all from? Y'all know any Jacksons down in Troy? Okay. What they said, Jill have been tripping tonight. What she she done hit a line. Jill done hit a line. Let me go back up here and see Jill. Wait, let me see. Jill, what you did? Jill done hit a line. Jill done hit a line and I went crazy in the comments. God damn. I thought what a security at. I thought the security security. Y'all don't be letting them hoes uh, snort no line on my boss now. Please don't let them hold. Do I got any moderators in this bitch tonight? Please don't let them. Please, please, please don't let them snort no powder on my damn bars. Tonight I pay hard money for these damn bars. I don't want them chemicals eating through my goddamn wood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. She done hit a line and done went crazy. <laughs> hey, y'all ever been at a party or something with somebody, you friends with them or something? And you don't let them hit hit the hit the blood or something. They don't went fucking crazy. They talking about they can't swallow the pineapple. They got a pineapple stuck in the throat. They they having strokes and seizures. They just don't went crazy. Girl, you don't hit that hard ass line and them coming. Let me put you in timeout. We got to put her in the cubby. Y'all know them goddamn cubbies and ISS. We finna put her in the cubby, and then we finna put one behind your ass. So as the teacher, we ain't got this. I ain't got to look through you. You know how to. You know, ISS teacher used to put you right in front of their desk, right where they can see you because you've been throwing pencils over there. Everybody else spinning balls out. You know what I'm saying? And then you keep turning around, get up out your seat. So they done took another cubby that's empty. He done took that damn thing and done parked it behind you so he can't even see. <laughs> we going to put her in her cubby tonight. Where you at, girl? Jilda. Jilda done hit a line and done went crazy. Girl, they ready to jump on you. You better get out them goddamn comments before they jump on you, Jilda. You better go cook us some chicken and cook me some chicken and fries so when I get off this goddamn show and I can eat. Shit. You sitting up here in the comments arguing with us why the motherfucking chicken burning up, Jilda. I thought this was Jilda chicken and fries. Shit. Because we're going to talk about Jake's baby. We gonna talk. I know you don't want us to talk about Jace. I know that hurt your heart. I know it do. I know. But you've been having heartaches long before Jake's even this shit even came out. So we're not gonna act like you just started feeling heartaches because we're talking about Jake's. Get off Facebook and get off YouTube and get in your Bible. That's the problem. Y'all always want to talk about how much you study and how much word you go through, but the word ain't never been through you. Get offline. Stay out them comments. You should be praying and asking God to save your pastor. You should be asking God to deliver him and reveal to you if he's telling the truth or not so that you can dec decide if you're going to stay in this ministry or if you're going to decide that you want to go to heaven and you're going to leave and you're going to go to another church. But if you want to go to hell, I understand. It's okay. But when you come around here, you're going to sit down and put your seatbelt on because I'm going to take you for a wild ride, baby. And see, at this point, you trying to jump out while we in the motherfucking air. And I can't have that. So my, 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 my moderators and my security team got to get you up out of here. If we knew you was this crazy, we would have never let you get on this, you know, got up on this ride. I don't know what line you hit before you got on the ride. I don't know what you, you know, snorted while you was leaning over trying to put your seatbelt on. But baby, listen, you, you trying to jump out in mid flight and we ain't landing. We ain't making no emergency landings because it's not no real emergency now. OK, Jilda, fries and chicken. Have a good day. Not Jill the fries and chicken. Have a good day. <laughs> when I'm on the fucking fries and... <laughs> Girl, worry about them goddamn reviews that's on Jill's fries and chicken. <laughs> chicken and fries. And stop worrying about what we got going on over here on NCB.
Okay, now do I need to put you in time out? Do I need to write you up and suspend you off the job for a couple of days because you can't shut up in the comments? What do I need to do? Let me know. Do you want to work or do you want to go home? Because you was too old to be sitting in the corner of the restaurant pouting. Get in there and fry some chicken and put some garlic power, uh, powder in that flour. God damn it. Shit, turn that eye down. Tell them to do something. Shit. You sitting up here running the goddamn drive through timer up. You know damn well we told you to pull up. Pull up. We're going to bring your food to you. Why is you sitting in my drive through Jilda? Jill, it, what, what, what is, give me her receipt. Hey, 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 what's your name, Jilda? Miss Jilda, my people told you about 13 minutes ago that they were going to bring your chicken out. Well, you need to pull up because all week our time been up and you ain't pull up or we ain't give her her money back because I'm not going to deal with her. Well, pull up then. You sitting in the drive through talking and we trying to move the fuck on and you don't park that old ass Chevrolet in the middle of the motherfucking goddamn uh, drive through with that goddamn rusty ass paint falling off, putting holes in our motherfucking ties. You know damn well we ain't got no goddamn money to be calling no triple A. You should have put one of them horse shit bags all underneath your car. So everything that's falling. That bag will catch it so it don't fuck up our shit. Because we behind you, baby. Think about the people behind you. Okay. Ooh, I think I done roasted her. Oh, bad. Damn. No, my my show ain't no shit show. I'm not finna shoot the shit with her. Mm -mm. We 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 moving on. Okay, so now I'm about to play. Okay, so um, we played that part on. I think I went too far. No, I didn't. Okay, so let me rewind this back again. Where William is talking about um, you know the stuff with uh with Manasseh. Hold on, relationship. Right. Uh they so, had a broken relationship. Larry was defending Jace with all. And you have to remember, Jake and Manasseh have a very close relationship. Right. Uh, they so, had a romance as well. So he's only going, no, because they both like, they both bottoms. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. So this way it come in at. So that's what we was trying to figure out. I knew he said something about Manasseh. So he said Manasseh and Jake's one having none sexual going on because they both are bottoms allegedly. So why is Bishop Jake so in denial about him being a bottom? A bottom. And he walking across the pool pit talking, have you ever been swallowed? I would. Have you ever been swallowed? So William said, according to William G. McCray III of Obnoxious Television, he says that they was not bumping and grinding, that they was bottom. So they was, you know, they was both probably on some two-headed dildos. Okay. So, you know, Manasseh probably had one end. He probably had the pink head. And 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 and, and Jake's probably had him some BBC, some, you know, BBC. So they both bottoms, but uh larry reed it is saying i'm gonna tell you what he's saying after we hear this video because i need to hear manassa video again a lot of times i wait till i go live with y'all to hear stuff you know for the first time right so let me we're gonna play this video with manassa now we don't heard what william said we're gonna play this video excuse me what manassa said okay okay i want to know why that chest is tight. Hey, that look like the breastplate of righteousness. <laughs> Boy, if the bless, if the breastplate of righteousness was a person on the breastplate, we see it tonight because you got it on. Boy, that nigga chest. Boy, I tell you, look at that chest. Wait, let me show you all this chest. Boy, you got the breastplate of righteousness on. What in the 
What he got a bulletproof vest on? What he think the bishop finna shoot through the screen at him? Ch this don't make no sense right here. Boy, you got the breastplate of righteousness on tonight. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hear what, what uh Miss Manassa has to say. Hey fam, those that have been watching me, I've been saying that in 2024 it's gonna be the year of exposure. And God is exposing certain people, people that normally was able to use their power, their influence, and their money to silence people, those days are over. And before I hear people saying that, oh, this is sown tear in the body of Christ. The Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth. So before you say, touch not my anointing, be, do my prophets no harm. That's a Nessian statement because that scripture is referring to Israel. You're taking a scripture out of context. And if the Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth, then speaking truth is not sown tears. It's bringing reformation and healing. In my 20s, I got to be around some of the biggest men and women of God. And I got to witness things because I got to see them without their armor. One of the things that really happens and seldom talk about is that there's something called grooming. And it happens in the Pentecostal church. I'm sorry, y'all. My mic was off. Here I go again. I be mute myself so y'all don't hear what I got going on over here. But what I'm saying is, is that I don't understand how these real, these people that say they real prophets, okay, won't just say the name. I want to know that we, I want to know did Larry uh, Risha get on her knees and crawl and beg you? I want to know if he got on all his fours and stuck his tongue out and told you to let me release it. Let me tell him. Let me tell him. I want to tell him that was Jacob. Why you can't? See, I have a problem with people that want to tell somebody else's testimony. Let somebody else tell their testimony. If you was going to get up there and say a little bit and then say he could tell that part, you should have let him tell the whole part. You just want to have beef with Bishop Jakes for your own personal reasons. One thing a motherfucker can't stand is when somebody don't acknowledge their ass. And they doing all this shit to get somebody to acknowledge them and ain't nobody stirring you. And if anybody want to know how God will kick you off your high place and off your throne, look at Larry Reed. Look what happened to him in his church. He got all that money he say, but he can't open up. I don't know if he got a new church or not because he, he be promoting something called Reformation. I don't know. I don't know. But at the end of the day, them witches ran his ass out of it. <laughs> oh, God. But Manasseh finna tell y'all what the tease is. So let's get back to Manasseh. I'm gonna shut up until I get ready to talk again. It happens in many churches, but I'm referring to the black church specifically. And what that means is that there'll be a bishop, a pastor, apostle, someone who has big conferences, everybody knows, oh my God, they're the holy man of God. And they will pick their victims and they groom them. And it first goes through stage one where they ask questions. What are you into? What do you like? You need to tell daddy everything. And so they're using verbosity and they're using this type of garrulous narrative to try to make you feel uh, comfort, to make you, to build comfort with their victim. And then from there, it goes into stage two. And stage two is where it begins to become sexual. And it first starts by either making facetious jokes, um, making little statements. In okay, so now he's going into talking about how Jake's, and the only reason I'm saying he's talking about how Jake's this is because that's what Larry Risha said. Larry Risha said that this boy was groomed by Bishop Jake's, and that's who he was talking about. And that's why he purposely put Jake's name in there. He just wants Jake's to come at him so he could get online and say, Jake sent me a cease and desist list, uh, letter, and then saying cease and desist letters are for punks, but then turn around and you the punk. 
because you send to everybody else cease and desist things. That's why y'all content creators, let me tell y'all, let me talk to my content creators. Shout out to all the content creators that fuck with me. I fuck with y'all. Thank y'all for y'all support. I try to catch y'all when I can. Uh, but at the end of the day, y'all need to get some insurance. You need to get bloggers insurance. I'm going to give you a website. It's called Thimble. Now, I'm with another uh, insurance company called by Berkshire, okay? Y'all need to get y'all some insurance so when you blogging and somebody like Larry Reed send you a cease and desist letter, and if you get sued, you know, however much money your policy is for your blogger's insurance, it you know, the insurance company will pay for your defense. So you will find you a lawyer regularly like you would if you didn't have the insurance, and you will submit your claim that you have been sued off of whoop de whoop 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 and, you know, you know, my policy is two million. So, you know, my, def you know, my insurance is going to pay up to two, two million dollars for my defense. But at the end of the day, they trying to they trying to take us down. They trying to sue us. And it's so crazy because the same content creators that talk about everybody else allegations and talk about what everybody else got going on be the same ones that's trying to shut somebody else up. It's so backwards. So instead of you saying the whole name, you got to come up with a name. Larisha, bitch. Okay. All right. So let's go back to what he got to say. In the windows. And then it goes into the questions of what turns you on? What do you like sexually? You need to tell me this because I need to know because I need to be able to pray for you. So it's almost like a psychological power game that they're playing with you. And in your head, if you say something wrong, they project it on you. They body shame you. Oh, you're too sexual. Oh, look at your body. Oh, you're the one that's making me do this. Oh, you. And so you have that in the back of your head and then you also have in their head of their dumb misinformed followers who are pushing this predatory narrative because they're so in awe with either trying to be like them either worshiping them or not worshiping god or worshiping their denomination or where they come from and so they're not even there seeing with the eyes of truth but they're there seeing out of carnality and so they're sitting up there and they're protecting them and the leader the bishop the pastor they know this and so they know and they feel invisible Oh, I can get away with this. I just have to make a statement to my church. I just have to tell them. And they're never going to question. Why is it so many people? Why is it always coming up? Why is everybody lying? So everybody's lying. Where there's a mouse, there's mice. And then it goes into the third stage. And the third stage is where they try to become intimate with you. And if you do not allow this, they drop you. They treat you like you're nothing. So everything he's saying that makes young male allegedly did. Or that young woman, but... From my experience, I can only speak from a young male point of view. They abandoned that young male and they treat them like they're nothing because they didn't acquiesce to what they wanted sexually. And they look for another victim and they know they can get away with it because their followers are not people that love the Lord. They worship the pastor. They worship the bishop. So they're not seeking for truth. And so this is the day and age that we're in. Thank and you. I still believe that there Thank are you, Andrea. believers Andrea. Thanks. that do not worship personality, so to speak. They don't care who you are. They don't care if you're bishop this, prophet this, apostle that, but they really love the Lord. And so they really are worshiping the spirit of truth, which is Jesus. And they really are about that. And so they can see past that. I want to say to victims that might not have a platform or might feel like, you're going to be judged and you can't say nothing because this is what they try to tell you. You're going to be judged. You can't say nothing. You're so in seed of tear. You, you know, God is the judge. Yeah, we know God is the judge, but God judges people also through legal systems. God judges people also through other people. There's a group of Christians and we're here and we believe in you and we're here to support you. And if you've been feeling in your heart that you can't say nothing, now is the time for you to speak out. There's still a remnant group of Christians that are not worshiping celebrities. They're not worshiping how big someone's conference is, who they are, or their name, or their notoriety, but they believe in truth, and they're here for you. And I'm not a victim, but I'm someone that is speaking truth to help victims that have experienced this to say, we see you. And there's a group of Christians, men and women of God, that are the true men and women of God that are here to pray for you. Some of the biggest monsters are right in front of your face and they manipulate their pulpit to push their nasty agenda and their followers are duplicitous to it. Ooh, who are you talking about?
Is he talking about Jakes? Is he talking about daddy Jakes? What Larry used to call him and didn't want to get up and try to turn it around on him. You know what I hate? You know one thing I hate about a person is when they try to always try to turn something they used to call. Then you call them daddy. You call everybody daddy. Which one is really your daddy? I think Bernard Jordan is really his daddy. We won't never forget LaVon Trey and his story he told on you, Larry. I don't know why he thought I was just going to get up here and give some beautiful coverage about his ass, but I just wanted to remind you, bruh, that you had allegations against you, too. So stop going so hard on um, P. Diddy Jakes. Okay. Now I want to share y'all a video that I'm concerned about what Bishop T.D. Jakes has stated. Okay. Jake said in this video that I'm about to play that if he did do what the allegations are about him, all he got to do is repent. And I'm just like, no, that is so wrong. I just talked about the story about David and Bathsheba. And how the Lord sent the prophet Nathan to tell him how God was displeased because he was an adulterer and he was a murderer. And then the Lord forgave him after he repented. But the Lord consequences remained on his life. I don't understand how you can be a big bishop in the black church as big and bald head as you are and not know the story about David and Bathsheba and how God will take his hand. Off you. I don't understand why these junkies and these misfit bishops and pastors always acting like they so innocent. What type of innocent man say, if I did do it, all I got to do is repent? The blood gonna wash. If I did. I'm not about to say if I did, shit, I ain't did what y'all saying I did. Hell no. I would have been, I would have been the bishop that slipped up. Your congregation probably would have let you got away with that one. I ain't, you should have said, I ain't did. I ain't did shit. They said I did. All I did was help them. Well, why call her Jakes? One up there. With Sarita now and Sarah now. What Cora was? They said Cora was standing on the side. Why you don't want Cora to stand before your church? After they say that y'all lied and framed this boy Brandon to get him to take a plea deal, because y'all know that if the if if it would have went to trial, the evidence that there is uh that you know it would have been damaging to the Potter's house of Dallas. Y'all ain't heard nothing about that. Oh, maybe that's because I'm the baddest blog. <laughs> but at the end of the day, P. Diddy Jakes decided that he wanted to tell his congregation, you know, hypothetically speaking, what if I did it, church? He manipulated the people. He want his congregation to believe after all that word we read and know what God tolerates and what God don't tolerate. He want us to say, forget about what you studied on your own time. I'm your bishop. And I said, all I got to do if I did it is repent. The Bible says repent and turn from your wicked ways. The Bible says if any man be, oh, if any man is called by my name. Okay. All right. Y'all don't want me to go there tonight. Mm hmm. Uh, 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 if my people, if my people, if my people, if my people call by my name, will humble them, say, eh, whoo, shall All right, let me move on because I felt that. I felt, I really did. I felt that in my big toe. I did, 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 I did. Okay, I'm going to move on. But anyways, let me play this video because 
I got some, I got some questions. If everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it. But I ain't got to repent about this. All I got to do is step over top of it and keep on going on. Glory to God, I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. The bishop said he ain't in trouble. So all he got to do is, if he did it, just repent, and he ain't going to get in no trouble. Oh, my God. I want to do that he go into the police department, so if they do call him down to the department, if, you know, he going to tell them, listen, officer, anytime you kill somebody on the force, unjust, you know, unjustifiably, all you got to do is repent and just step over it because you ain't been charged. <laughs> Hold on, I got to run that back. We got to hear the bishop say that again. He hypothetically spoke this into his life. If he if he did do it, listen to that. What type of man say he didn't do it, that is live, put himself in a situation to say, if I did do it, all I got to do is rip. If everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's enough power in the blood to cover all kinds of sins. I don't care what it is, the blood would fix it. But I ain't got to repent about this. All I got to do is step over top of it and keep on going on. Glory to God, I'm not in trouble. <laughs> I'm not in trouble. Man, Bishop Jakes, boy, 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 boy. Jakes, I don't know what to tell you about that. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know what to tell you about that, Jakes. Jakes, you said Jakes said he ain't in trouble. He boastful about that. And I think Eddie Long did the same thing. And then God gave Eddie Long them AIDS and that HIV and it killed him because for all them years, he had been having sex with them boys and buying them cars and clothes and designing the shoes and stuff. And they got tired of that. They got tired of that. And according to William McCray, they went to him and they said, listen, give us a million apiece. Uh, 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 um, Eddie Long said, who you think you are? Huh? I'm Bishop Eddie Longstroke. And I ain't giving you no. I give y'all a million dollars, and you gonna you boys are split up amongst yourself. But you ain't getting no million dollar piece. What you gonna do if I don't give it to you? Next thing you know, they ran down to the motherfucking police department. Charges filed against Elder. I mean, against uh Eddie Longstroke, New Birth Missionary Baptist Church pastor. The whole church. It was more people in his church that day. And they said it, they said it was standing room only. Everybody had to go get a word. Said the whole said all the members that had not been to church for years came to that service because they wanted to hear what Eddie Long Stroke had to say. But I want to play this video right here. Have you ever been swallowed? Now, I don't know what sermon this was or what T.D. Jakes had going on or who he was watching or who he was feeling, but he strutted across that pool pit and he asked them, have you ever been swallowed? Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you ever been swallowed? Okay, y'all seen this video? If it if y'all see this video, y'all if you ain't seen it, you finna see it. If you seen it, you finna see it again. Here you go. I would have I would hold on. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you hold on, wait, let me play that again. What hold on, Bishop. I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you? Cha, wait, bitch, we got to wind this back. Have you, I would, have you ever been? I would have been 
swallowed up have you ever been swallowed up have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you i would have been swallowed. look at that wall hold on look at that wall look at that wall look at that wall hold on wait Y'all see that strut? It's a mean strut. Bishop, Bishop, you got a mean, Bishop got a mean strut. Hold on. Let me show y'all that wall. Hold on. Watch it. Hold on. Hold on. Here you go. Uh, one. Swallowed uh, up. Have you ever uh, been swallowed uh, up? Uh, look at the Bishop sway inside the side. Hold on. Let me wind this back one more time so y'all can see the Bishop hit that wall one time. Let him, hit that, let him hit that saucy Santana one time. That wall, 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 wall. I would have and Hold on. Been. Here it is. Yep, one. Yep, ah, ah, ah. Okay, Bishop. I see. Hold on. Let me wind that back one more time. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You ready, Bishop J? Tell them how you gonna walk to that swallow. Tell them how you tell them how you was walking when you got swallowed. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, swallowed ah, ah, been swallowed ah. up. Have you gone through a time of swallowing? Uh, uh, have you ever gone through a time of swallow? You were swallowed. Did y'all see him that hit that like he was walking down the aisle, like he was getting married or something, like he was stepping side to side? Have you ever been? They sent me a picture. Hold on, let me show y'all this picture. TDJ's with this microphone in his mouth. I said, you know what? It's just really showing now. It's really showing. Like it's really showing. Like no lies, it is really, really. Have you ever been swallowed? That's what y'all gonna tell y'all girlfriend or y'all boyfriend. That's what the men gonna ask their girlfriend. Oh no, 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 no. That's what the girls gonna ask their motherfucking goddamn man. Have you ever been swallowed? You gonna be like, man, have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> Boy, we living in some dangerous times. Okay, let me see. Let me show. Oh, here you go. They they had a microphone with Jakes with the mic in his mouth. Look at Jakes. Now, why Jakes got that microphone in his mouth like that? See, now everything about him is just gay. You know what I'm saying? It's like, look at you, man. Why you got that microphone in your mouth like that? You can hold it with your chin. You wanted everybody to see that you swallowed the microphone. You know, swallow. and then mm, look at Bishop Jays. Uh, Bishop Jays don't swallow the mic. <laughs> what y'all gonna do with y'all, Bishop? What y'all gonna do with when a motherfucking money at shit? All right, so let me go on to Woody Woodpecker. Woody, 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 come on, y'all. Woody, 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 peck a peck a peck, 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 Woody, Woody, Woody. I say Woody, Woody, Woody. I say peck, 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 Woody, Woody, Woody. Woody, 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 Peck, 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 Peck. Word on the curve, Woody Woodpecker. Child, y'all know who she is. She ain't no stranger to them holes in your trees outside your house. Word on the curve, Woody Woodpecker sitting up here looking sad and lonely again, girl. And let me just get, although I don't like you because you fake phony, you know, and you don't wipe your ass, before, you know. I mean, you don't wash your hands after you wipe your ass, girl. But let me tell you, girl, I know you too old. You are too old, Tasha K. 
You was too old to be out here in these streets crying because you facing another lawsuit. Now, I know this was tears from when you was up there trying to tell Cardi B that you were swallowing all them roasts that you was putting out and all them lies. You know, and a motherfucker always get a reality check when the motherfuckers got to wake up every day and realize, bitch, I got a 4.4 million dollar lawsuit against me. Damn. Girl, you done got sued again. This time they said you was trying to shake down $250,000, girl. Maybe if you got your husband out of that nun making production you got going on, girl, he could have had you $250,000, you know, to put in your bank account so you can get some hair extensions. But seems like, girl, you in another lawsuit again. You about to lose again, girl. And it seems like you might be facing some motherfucking charges for the simple fact that that man got you, you know, up there trying to extort him all on tape, on video, in the little teaser. That you tried to put out, girl. You talking about, well, I guess if y'all don't, you can't get the money. You got to get the money all by all means necessary. We're going to see how much hair you have left by all means motherfucking necessary when they get done dragging your ass through the court. I know your lawyers are tired of you, girl. They tired of seeing your face. They tired of smelling your breath. They tired of you with that guy. They just tired of you, girl, with that goddamn iPhone 15 made body you got because you definitely look like an iPhone. Girl, I don't understand why that man that you got that's African won't speak no motherfucking English and ask you what the fuck wrong with you. Shit, how you gonna put your daughter through school? How you gonna put your kids through school? You set up online with no facts, chasing a story. Chase your ass to a job. If you know you ain't getting no honest stories that's gonna make you an honest money bag, bitch, then you need to take your ass and get you a job, okay? Comb your hair and go get a job. We don't want to see you online, Tusha, crying again because we ain't buying your party pity, bitch. We not buying it. We ain't buying no tickets to it because we don't. it's boring as fuck. How you going to enjoy somebody giving tea on somebody with lies? You know what I do? I take what's being put out and commentate on it. Or if I break a story and put something out, I guarantee you when the other media outlets put it out, it's going to be the same thing I tell you, okay? But I'm not just going to come up here and just put a story out on somebody because I don't like, oh, I'm going to put a story out on Tasha K today and just say, you know, she was caught at the mall stealing. Like, come on. That's what, you know what I'm saying? Girl, you done got caught with another lawsuit trying to shake Kevin Hart down. You know damn well Kevin Hart is too small for you to be trying to shake him down. You know his goddamn pants pockets is touching the goddamn ground and you trying to shake him down. And then when don't nobody want to run to you and give you no goddamn interview, you want to go do some digging up and shit. You are trifling. She's a trifling ass. Oh, She's trifling. Ain't nothing good about her. I got a recording of Tasha K when I was on the phone with her because she started going along the lines of saying some pedophilia stuff. Like it was, it was a the conversation was about uh what's that girl that stuck her fingers up her son, but uh Latrice. Okay, it was about Latrice, bumpy face Latrice. Okay, Latrice, her son got online and said that you know she stuck her finger up his butt, okay. Now, me and Latrice had been going back and forth. She called me everything but a child of God. Then she found out that the man she was having sex with, like men, she was sitting online, saying all that stuff, calling people names and this and that. But then she found out that her boyfriend, that she spent all her hard-earned money on Facebook making, but going back and forth to Bahamas, chasing a man that was a gazoo. He didn't want it, wanted dick the whole time, and she wanted to put on a front because another woman took her man. But I had asked her about that. I was like, Tasha, let me ask you something because Latrice said that you had said that you was going to bring her on your show. You know what, Tasha K, I ain't going to do you like that. I should have, I should have, I should have loaded up. Because the shit that you said, I'm going to tell you something. I don't fuck with Tasha K. She called me to come on her show to talk about a story I broke. You know, I ain't charged the broke bitch nothing because I knew she had to pay Cardi B, so I ain't charging nothing. I did it for to help her get money. Like I always do. I help these hoes get money and they always want to turn against me. I gave you hoes my mugshots to talk about. You hoes got money. I gave you hoes, 
You hoes didn't like the way that I did the Shaquilla Robinson case. Okay, I gave you hoes something to talk about about that. I gave you hoes opportunities and money. But she said some really pedophilia shit. And what I was going to do is send it to the police on her ass, but I felt sorry for her. I felt sorry for her husband because he don't know fucking English that well. And I felt sorry for her kids because they was born into a, into a family with a mama who ain't got the fucking sense a remote that God gave a remote control. A remote control know how to do shit when it's told to do. Okay, when it's told to press, it press. When it press up, it presses up. Damn. But Tasha K, Latasha Trans Rena Kibi, okay, she may be facing some criminal charges because Kevin Hart contacted the police on her. Okay. And um, she's been sued. Page six said that they obtained documents, the lawsuit. Tasha K has been sued. Uh, her response has been promoting the interview. And, you know, people like Tasha K, when stuff like this happened, they always going to make it seem like it ain't phasing them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, it ain't phasing me. I'm going to keep posting. Go stream it. Go stream it. Go stream it. But then it's going to come a point in time where the consequences are going to hit them. You know what I'm saying? For two years straight, they'll be out on bun. You know, doing their thing, acting like it ain't phasing them. You know what I'm saying? Then next thing you know, two months later, they had to go to court for the case and then they get locked up. So, you know, she has a history of trying to make things not look like it phases her. And it does, because how are you 50, 60, 40 something years old? You have a husband, you have two kids and you still out here being reckless. At some point, when are you going to grow up? When are you going to grow up and look in the mirror and tell yourself, I need to stop this shit? Because if I don't stop this shit, I'm going to have to be paying motherfuckers for the rest of their life. Girl, the news going to make itself. The news going to make itself. And see, a lot of times these bloggers think that you can just bring somebody up on your platform and use that as evidence when they make it some outrageous claims. You can't be going to no podcast or let nobody come on your podcast to put some tea out about somebody marriage, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you don't have no proof of it. Do you have one receipt? I ain't seen the interview, so I don't know what receipt she has, but what I do know is Tasha K normally just prop people in her chair and let them just talk without showing nothing. No fact checks or nothing, no research or nothing, no nothing. Girl, your word means nothing no more. You can't just look at the camera and say, oh, we did see this and it did show that. Well, I think she did show some text messages on Levantre's show, but, you know, I don't watch the hoe. You know what I'm saying? Because the hoe is dangerous. That bitch, she dangerous. She's, del she's DD, delusional and dangerous. You know, you got to watch them hoes. You got to watch them bald-headed hoes. Cause they be on a bald head hoe shit. So you got to watch them bald headed hoes like Tasha K. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let me read to y'all what the what 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 the, what the, what the motherfucking word on the curb is. Let me see what y'all say in the comment. Ah, okay, 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 okay. All right, let's read this word on the curb. Latasha Trans Rena Kibi, professionally known as Tasha K, who appears to be unconcerned about her finances, has been sued once more again. Comedian Kevin Hart alleged in a lawsuit that Tasha K attempted to shake him down for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. According to the lawsuit obtained by Page Six, Hart alleges that Tasha K sat down with his former assistant Maisha Shakes last month to record an interview. In his lawsuit, he claimed that false and defamatory statements were made about him. Mm. Hart stated, "You know what? Why is it that every time somebody sues?" Tasha K, it's about defamatory statements and lies. They ain't never sued you, girl, because you got evicted. They ain't never sued you because you ain't getting nobody their money back. They always sued your lying ass for lying. Child, that don't make no sense. You ain't got no credibility, girl. You want everybody to believe that you some type of notary ass blogger, bitch, boy. Hart, oops. Hart stated that after the interview, Tasha K called his team and threatened to publish the interview unless Hart paid a ransom of $250,000. He said that Tasha K allegedly told him that the information regarding his marriage and business dealings would be 
damaging to his reputation, I quote. According to the lawsuit, Tasha K posted a teaser for the interview in which she and shakes allegedly touting and supposedly salacious, oh my God, and damaging nature of the interview as a threat to Hart for not paying the ransom, as Page Six reported. Now, according to the lawsuit, uh, Kevin Hart put in there that the teaser included a statement from Kibi at the two minute and six second mark of the video, specifically warning that when you don't pay, we have to get money by all means necessary. And 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 that's exactly what she trying to get money by all means necessary. Hart and his team notified the police about Tasha K's shakedown attempt and her cease and desist and sent her a cease and desist letter. They alleged that Shakes had previously signed a non-disclosure agreement and a confidentiality agreement while working for Hart from 2017 until 2020. However, on December 22, Tasha K informed Hart that she would be publishing the full interview that had been released on her subscription-based website. Mm. According to Maisha Shakes in the interview, she told Tasha Kibi that Kevin Hart is an alleged a habitual cheater and has a gambling addiction. Mm. In the interview, Shakes revealed information about Hart's legal disputes and also accused him of having a gambling ad uh, addiction and being a habitual cheater. Hart is now suing both of the women for extortion and invasion of privacy. Shaky, excuse me, I about to say shaky. Shakes. <laughs> Shakes, shaky, bitch, it's the same thing. The shakes is also facing lawsuits for breach of contract and defamation. He is also accusing Tasha Kibi of, uh, of intentionally interfering with contractual relations. <laughs> Jerry, why you call that man the shakes? <laughs> I mean, that girl the shakes. So Tasha K is out here in these streets extorting people, telling them that they need to pay her some money not, not to put the story up. But, you know, you got to, girl, you can't be out here letting your words testify against you. Because he's going to take that same shit that you said in that two minute and six second mark and show the judge and show the jury that you was willfully and you was intentional and you did it with malice or forethought told that damn lie. If Tasha K is breathing, she lying. You can't believe nothing she say. She's a liar. She built her, her YouTube channel off of lying. She got beside herself, and now she's paying the consequences. It's like it's like all of the lies she told for money, the Lord is making her pay it back. You feel what I'm saying? She's going to have to pay it back in them lawsuits. All that money, all them lies that you told on people and got paid for, the Lord... It's about to make you pay it back. That's why she ran to her website to do the subscription base because YouTube wasn't paying her enough money and Cardi B was garnishing it out of her check. Okay, out of her out of her every 21st of the month check that she get from Google AdSense. Okay, but at the end of the day, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You can't pawn that fake ass jewelry that you wear. Because it's not worth nothing. You get the you, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't go to five and below and pawn they shit and think you finna get $250,000. And you definitely, and you know what? Let me say that. Matter of fact, let me say this. You definitely can't prop no whore or no disgruntled employee, because that's what it is. It's a disgruntled employee. You can't prop no disgruntled employee up to go out to somebody and then send a documentary or release a teaser or tell them that if you don't. Uh, do this, then we're going to put this out there. Just because a person has been connected to somebody or is known to have been around somebody does not mean that what they tell you about that person is the truth. Just because a person hang out with me every day, seen on Instagram with me every day, you know, we out with the movies every day, if they go to a blog and say, oh, I got some tea on Gerald, I got some tea on Gerald, who what what real journalist or blogger just props somebody up on an allegation with no proof? You don't have nothing. You don't have a text message. You don't have nothing. You just prop them up and you take their story because they were known to be around Gerald. Oh, that oh, they was everywhere together. So he know. Oh, she know. No, the fuck they don't know. And you don't fuck either. Child show is no one a motherfucking money yes shit. All right, I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight. Thank y'all, thank y'all. I'm done with these hoes for the night. We're gonna spit some more people out tomorrow. All right, we live again tomorrow, 
7.45, y'all, 7.45. I'm going to ease that time next week. we 7 o'clock. But we live again tomorrow, 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Damn, Joe, you've been live all goddamn week. You might as well go to Friday. I'm off Friday. Uh, and I might take Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday off net. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> they be like, he be doing so good, then he get off schedule. All right, we live tomorrow, 8.45, excuse me, 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's, it, I'm going to have to get used to it. Like, you know, you know, when you turn a new age and you still be telling everybody you 26, <laughs> then you be like, no, nah, I'm 29. <laughs> Ooh. Did Gilda finish them chicken and fries? Gilda, did you finish them chicken and fries, ma'am? Thank y'all so much. If you want to send a cash app tonight, if you enjoyed the show, you can send a cash app on tonight. Thank y'all so much. You can send a dollar. If you want to, thank y'all so much. I'm about to go get me something to eat because I'm really, really hungry. So I'm about to go in this kitchen and find me something to eat. I don't know. I just feel like going back to the hood. I just feel like going to cook me some oodle noodles. Oh, I just got a taste for some oodle noodles. Oh, oodle noodles. I'm tired of you. I done ate pizza. I done ate steak. I'm steaked out. I'm pizza out. I'm hamburger out. I'm chicken out. I'm spaghetti out. I'm lasagna out. I'm tilapia out. I'm salmon out. I'm out. I'm goddamn frozen pizzas out. I'm just out. I need something different, goddamn it. Give me some motherfucker. I might go in there, bitch, and fry me an old nasty bologna sandwich. Put some of that carry gold or some of Miss Lando Lakes in a pot. Let her say shit. Let her sizzle a little bit. Let her let her grease that pan up a little bit. Let her butter that pan down a little bit, and put that piece of butter. Pull that red string off that bologna. And drop that bologna up in there. Whip me some of that goddamn Duke's mayonnaise across that light bread and slap that goddamn bologna across there and be done for tonight. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. God bless y'all, man. All right, we live again tomorrow. What time? 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be here at 7.30, okay, because it might be a good show. All right, y'all. Peace.